everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Christina and this is Mommy On and I'm really excited to do this video for you guys today. Um, obviously with the amount of pregnancies we've had and how many children we've had there has been a long list of baby names that we've gone through with each child and kind of checked off and I have decided to share my top five favorites. They weren't my husband's top five favorites but they're definitely mine um, for both boys and for girls. So let's get started. First I'm going to start with the boys' names. Um, we have three boys, Aiden, Bryce, and Dexter, so those names were obviously at the top of our lists. The first name I chose on this list was Mason. I loved the name Mason. It originates from France and it means stoneworker. And I love the nickname Mace for it. It's just, it's such a cute name. My second favorite name for a boy is Elliot. And Elliot is actually the surname of my biological father, um, so it's very special to me. The reason why we didn't choose it clearly is because we did not have a boy this pregnancy, and this was our pregnancy for E. We tend to go down the alphabet, it's kind of weird. Um, but Elliot, and it means the Lord is my God. So it definitely has a lot of meaning for it. The third name, Elias, is actually the name that we would have used if Eloise was a boy. Um, Elias is a form of Elijah. It's from England, <laughs> again, um, and it also means the Lord is my God. So it was the perfect boy name, but clearly we will not be using it this time around. The fourth name was one of my favorite names as well, and we went back and forth on it. Um, I love the name Gideon. I think it's so strong. It's biblical. It's beautiful. I mean, it's such an original name and there's so many cute nicknames you can have for it like Giddy because it is a biblical name its roots are Hebrew and it means great warrior which is exactly what I think of when I think of Giddy. The last name I've chosen for my boy list is a little unusual but it's definitely one of my favorites and I will say that I don't know that I can say we will not be using this name. Um, <laughs> I guess it just depends on if we have another baby after Eloise because um, then we will be in the F name category and the name is Fletcher which obviously means arrow maker and it is also of English origin. I love the name Fletcher. I think it is so original and so I guess it's folky but it is very strong and very unique. So girl names. Girl names are so hard to choose ones that I know for sure I won't use. These ones I can definitely say I won't be using at all and I love these names. So the first name is Charlotte and Charlotte is so sweet. I think it's classic. It's long. There's so many cute nicknames you can use for it. It originates from France and it's a form of Charles or Charlie which means free man. So the next name was actually on our list with the first pregnancy my husband and I had together, which was Bryce, and this was before we started doing the ABC thing, and clearly before we were set on that, because Sophia obviously fell off that range completely, um, but if Bryce wasn't a boy, he would have been, she would have been Adeline Grace, um, so Adeline is definitely a name that I absolutely love, but we will not be using at all. It is an American name and it means noble and I love Adeline, I love the nickname Addie and Lynn and Ada, <laughs> I mean there's so many things you can do with that name and it's starting to become more popular but it really wasn't that popular back in 2010. Next name I know has been popular among Gilmore Girl fans everywhere. Um, I love Gilmore Girls but that's not why I fell in love with this name, Lorelai. I love the name Lorelei. So Lorelei is German and it means alluring enchantress. Um, I like the nicknames for Lorelei and I do love the way it looks when it's written and I like the way it sounds. It's just very, very classic. So next on my list for girls is a name that's pretty generic. I think everyone knows this name, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Um, clearly it's classic, it's very homey. Uh, it makes me think of adventure and curiosity, and I love the name Alice. It actually is English, and its meaning is a noble kin. Um, I think that Alice is a really strong name. I do like the fact that there are so many nicknames again. So the next name is actually really dear to me, <laughs> is Olivia. Um, I loved Olivia. I think it's such a pretty name. I still love it a lot. I can't use it for my own children because Olivia is the name of a lot of my friends' children now. Um, it's an English name and it means ancestors 
descendant. So that was my top 10 favorite baby names that I will not be using except for Fletcher. That's a possibility still. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to go down below into the comments and write a friendly comment and hit the subscribe button so you can watch more videos. See you guys later.